me give you the very high level view of how a quantum gate works uh, involving the Coulomb interaction. <clears throat> okay, we have a bunch of atoms here in a chain. And let's say we want to do an, uh, we want to do a, 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 an AND gate or some, some type of a quantum gate between any two of these atoms. Well, here's what we do. We shine up we assign two laser beams that only hit the two atoms in question. And these laser beams are tuned in a very special way that allow us to apply a force to the atoms. It pushes the atoms. But very importantly, it pushes the atoms in a direction that depends on their internal state. And this can be done based on uh, selection rules of the atomic transitions. And we do this with our 355 uh, nanometer lasers. Uh, in this example, if the atom is in the state spin up, it gets pushed upward. If it's in the state spin down, it gets pushed downward. These are called optical dipole forces. They're very well known. Um, and there's some displacement, delta, in space between the two, up and down. Now, the physics, what's happening here is that we're, we're going to consider the energy change between all four configurations of these, of these two spins. Okay. Um, now, if they're both state spin up, they both move up together. Coulomb interaction is the same as it always was. They're the same distance apart. If they're both spin down, they move down together. So the Coulomb energy doesn't change. And for the moment, we're going to forget about all the other ions. That's actually in, in one limit of this. That's, that's, that's fine. Just forget about those. But if those two atoms are different states, down up or up down, they're a little further apart from each other. And it's that tiny change of, of distance that modulates, that changes their Coulomb energy that allows us to do an interesting operation. So if you look at the math here, the change in energy, this is the Coulomb energy uh, from, from when they're on this, on this little diagonal here minus their original Coulomb energy. And this is the expression. And uh, in physics, this is known as a dipole-dipole interaction. We have an effective electric dipole. Charge of the ion times the separation divide, squared divided by R cubed. And these energies can be very large. And this is exactly what we use to do gates. Why is this a gate? Well, if you look at the four configurations of those two spins, uh, again, only the two mixed states suffer this energy change. And in fact, it's the same energy change. So in quantum mechanics, we add this phase factor, the energy uh, 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 decreased a little bit for a certain amount of time. And so that determines this phase factor. And when that phase factor is pi over 2, these two numbers here in front uh, are minus i. And it turns out that's equivalent to a controlled not gate or a NAND gate. It, it, it's the sort of bread and butter of the gate model of quantum computing. It's a universal gate when taken along with other more trivial gates. Um, and so this is the physics of what's going on. We, we're applying forces to these atoms. 